All right, uh, good morning. Let's see, we're gonna go over a little piece here called La Lluvia, the rain, right? And uh, okay, again, to begin, hand position, both thumbs on the C, right there. And really, you're not using your pinky. Uh, on both hands, you're using uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and clap it out the way we've been doing it before. This is in 4-4 four, four time, 4 beats per measure. I don't remember if, let's see. I think this is the first time that we, yeah, this is the first time that we play in 4-4, four, four, right? So it's not something new, right? All right, so this one would be, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in this piece, you have quarter notes, and then you have half notes. One, two, three, four. Right. So you're using two different types of notes. Uh, okay, we're playing left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Right. So if you look at it, the measure number one and number two three, four are the same as five and six, repeat it again, right? And then measures three, four, seven and eight are a little bit different. And pretty much that's standard in that uh, phrases of music are coming eight measures. This is eight measures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then something new can come, uh, like a, what they call a sequence, or you know another a new melody or they change the melody a little bit right okay so let's see let's try singing it do si la sol do si la sol do re mi fa mi re do si la sol do si la sol do mi fa do mi fa re do do the, the end is Okay, because the third measure is do, re, mi, fa, mi, re. But the seventh measure and the eighth measure is do, mi, fa, re, do, do. Okay. Okay, remember that the reason for clapping and singing and then playing, right, is just that your mind goes through the music in different ways. And that's really where the music needs to be, in your mind, right? Not really in your fingers, right? It's in your mind, in your mind correctly, with the right rhythm and all that, right? Now, if you notice, okay, I don't really, let me check something right here. Yeah, we really haven't gotten into phrases yet, right? This piece here, it's uh, like, uh, since it's the rain, you know, you could even have like a little, like a staccato uh, touch, like. Okay. Now, as far as chords on this one, it's really, mm, let me see, let me see. Yeah, really, there's just one chord. Yeah, it's just a C chord. Okay, remember C chord? C, E, G. You know, the other thing about chords is that you don't always have to play all three notes. You could just play the two notes right there. And that gives you the sense of the, of the C chord. Right? So you could play, for example, like this. So right there, what I did was I played everything with the right hand, right? Okay, guys, so practice. Uh, next piece, a little bit different, 4-4. Uh, four, four. This week, 
Um, now I'm going to push on to do five of these little pieces a week, right? So we're going to be moving a little bit quicker now. All right. You know what to do. Practice, guys.